to make keto soup. Um, one of the family members brought this for part of Christmas dinner. I've been addicted to it since. It's really good. Um, I actually use it as like a cheese dip. Works really good on chips or you can just eat it as itself. So far we have one can of beef broth in here and one can of Rotel, which is basically spicy tomatoes with a, a small amount of peppers in them. Went ahead and put it on there and I got it on hot to get it going and warm a lot better. We have onion powder or you can use a real onion if you want. Well, just a little bit of that in there. Just like that. And garlic, add just a little bit of that, not quite as much as the onion because garlic's pretty strong. Partner, we are going to cook some ground beef. Right here you see it's a pound, that's how much we're gonna add. Go ahead and cook it over here on like the, the small skillet pan, however you wanna do it, whatever's convenient. And then we'll be adding the cooked hamburger into the soup. Hamburger while it's cooking, add just a little bit of chili powder. Get a little bit more of a kick. Once this more or less starts boiling, we're getting pretty close. I'll then go ahead and turn it on down to about halfway, six or so. And then I'm going to be adding in two blocks of cream cheese. Now I have both blocks in there, one on top of the other. And again, I've changed this a little bit from all the other recipes out there. Um, doing keto soup is what they call it. I call this more of a keto chip dip. A little bit more hamburger and about double the amount of uh, cream cheese. A lot better for chip dipping. You can still eat it like soup, I guess. But... <clears throat> now once the hamburger gets cooked, we're then going to add it in there and uh, let it all melt together and stir it up and we're pretty much done. If you do want it more like keto soup, use one block of cream cheese instead of the two like I'm using. And you might use closer to a half a pound of hamburger for this ratio. Depends how much hamburger you want in it. The thing that we can add into it is you can add a whole green pepper if you want more of a kick. However, I just do chili powder and hamburgers a lot more easy, easier. Um, but uh, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm still deciding if I want to add the green pepper into it, even though there's a little bit of peppers in the Rotel, so that'll probably do. But anyway, that's it for this video, and at the end, I'll show what it looks like all mixed together and uh, give it a try. Go ahead and add about a quarter of a green bell pepper cut up in there. Now it's time to add in the hamburger. Hopefully it don't slop too much. Start stirring it all up. And here it is. The, some of the cream cheese still has to melt. As you can see, it's still in smaller pieces now. <clears throat> it usually takes a while for cream cheese to melt a lot faster than normal cheese, for whatever reason that is. <clears throat> so we'll probably give it another 20 minutes or so. Uh, but this is pretty close to what it looks like done. And you can start eating it with a spoon or with crackers, or I like dipping chips in there. And do as you want. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.